Today I want to I want to speak about one of the most important bands of the new wave of old school thrash metal, and I'm speaking about municipal waste from the United States of America, uh, from Virginia of the United States. Now, municipal waste, uh, together with bands like Toxic Holocaust, One Man's Band, uh, Suicidal Angels from Greece, and the Legion of the Damned from Holland. Legion of the Damned, before that, they had another name, but uh, they were, they were uh, their name in the beginning was Occult, afterwards they became uh, Legion of the Damned. These four bands, especially, uh, brought the whole situation of the new wave of old school thrust. Uh, and let's say that uh, the thrust metal was very, very famous in the mid 80s, in the beginning of the 90s. And then came grants alternative metal and alternative rock, death metal, and because of all these kinds of another of other style of music, thrust metal died, let's say almost died, especially in the United States of America. And for many years, great thrust metal bands, also from Europe and also from the United States, or they disbanded, all, or they started to play something else. We remember that changes came to even most of, their, of, of, of these great bands. Uh, Metallica did change their style, Megadeth, Anthrax in these years, Sodom, Creator, Destruction, uh, Testament, for good or bad, everyone there changed a little bit their style. Uh, let's say that only maybe two or three bands this, the, they uh, continued their way in all these difficult years of thrust metal. First of all, Tankard from Germany. Secondly, Overkill from the United States. And maybe, maybe, thirdly, uh, Annihilator from Canada. Also, they, they, they made many changes in their music, let's say, about uh, Annihilator. So, in, inside the 90s, uh, there were some kind of bands that they were uh, uh, scenes that they, they, they wanted to brought back the glorious days of thrust, but they didn't succeed so much. For example, uh, some people who say it also Pantera and Machine Head. In the beginning of the 90s, they had thrust metal elements in the music. Maybe this is right, but for me, Pantera and Machine Head, they are even more groove metal than thrust metal. Afterwards, we can see the retro black metal scene or the thrust black thrust metal scene. Bands like uh, Niflheim uh, from Sweden or Big Witch from Sweden or Aura Noir from Norway. Or disaster from Germany, destroyer 666 from Australia. These great bands, uh, black thrust bands, uh, they tried to brought back a little bit the glorious days of thrust. Uh, also, had another style of modern neo thrust because of the Hondit, uh, the Hondit that uh, came out uh, from the Aces of uh, at the gates. And other bands like Darkane, like Hate Sphere in these years, they try to be a little bit more modern for us. But, 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 let's say that uh, the big change and the real comeback of the old school for us was because of these bands as Toxic Holocaust, Legion of the Damned, Suicidal Angels, and of course, Municipal Waste. Some people will say, okay, we saw also some reunions even before Destruction, they made a good reunion. Even before Exodus, they made a good reunion. Uh, Angels still, they made a good reunion, but for a little bit, uh, a less uh, period of time. Afterwards, they came also back. Uh, but, 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 the big change came with these four bands, and afterwards, so many bands good and not so good bands of 
new or new new old school thrust metal. I can hear speak also about Warbringer or about Havoc uh, and so many many other bands. Also, we have a very very big Greek old school thrust metal scene or new wave of old school thrust metal scene from Greece with great bands, not only Suicidal Angels. And now, and now, and now, let's speak about municipal uh, waste. And uh, ah, another thing also that I have to say, because of, of these four bands and because of municipal waste, many old school bands, from the old school real bands, they came back. They came back, they reunited, for example, Heathen, for example, Exumer from Germany, and so on. Or they came back with very great, even that, even the, that they played even before this uh, uh, new wave, but they came back with very good uh, albums. For example, Testament, they came with a very good album in these years, um, and so on, and so on, and so on. So, when we speak about uh, municipal waste, we have to say that they, be they began in 2000, 2000, 2001 in Virginia of the United States. Uh, until now, two of their members there from the beginning, uh, the vocalist uh, and the singer Tony Foresta and the guitarist uh, Ryan Waste. Also together, to today they have another guitarist, a Greek-American one by the name Nick Necropolis Poulos. And the whole style of them, this is crossover thrust, crossover thrust metal. Uh, they have uh, many big uh, influences from DRI, from suicidal tendencies, from uh, corrosion of conformity, even from, from their first album, and especially from Nuclear Assault. Uh, they made until now six studio albums, three EPs, and four splits. Uh, their last work was uh, their last EP of 2019 by the name The Last Rager, and they, they are in the way to make another new seventh album inside in 2021. I don't know if they will succeed, but they are, uh, uh, they are in work for this album. So until now, I will rank their albums from worst to best, let's say worst to best, there are six studio albums until now, in my personal point of view and taste. So, in the sixth place for me will come their first debut album of 2003, Waste Em All. Waste Em All, you can see the, uh, it's very, very close to Kill Em All of Metallica. This album for me is a little bit more crossover than thrust metal. If you understood what I'm saying, it's a good album, but not so good like the other albums. And uh, uh, some people maybe they don't they are not, they don't know uh, this album. In the fifth place, their fifth album of 2012, The Fatal Feast. This album is also good, but a little bit uh, the same. Let's say the same. Not not something so so special the art cover is very uh, gore maybe the most gore uh, art cover of them a little bit more cannibal corpse style uh, but also is a good album in the fourth place for me will come the fourth album of 2009 massive aggressive some people did like the album from them maybe this is a little bit more dark uh, but for me it was very 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 good a good municipal waste album in the third place their sixth album of 2017 slim and punishment now for many many years when we didn't listen something about municipal waste because the whole thing of the old, the new wave of old school thrust metal became a little bit more uh, common, uh, not so uh, famous. So we didn't listen something new about them for many many years, and they came with this album, 
in 2017 that is a great 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 album very very good and now their very very the best albums of them in the second place their third album of 2007 the art of parting um, yeah parting the art of parting now this album is great great album many people uh, they started to listen to municipal waste because of this album and many people maybe will put this album even in the first place and understand this uh, very well it's a very very good album with uh, of course over for us very good album but in any case in there in the in the first place for me will come this great album their second album of 2005 hazardous mutation a great crossover thrust metal album uh, i i started to listen to municipal waste because of this album the Ed Rebka also uh, artwork is great. Everything here is great, great, great. For me, this is the cornerstone of the whole new wave of old school thrust metal scene. This especially, this special album, great, great, great album. And they will speak about thrust metal also. Let's speak about the great documentary Get Thrust. Uh, this is one of the most good uh, and only, let's say, documentaries about thrust metal. In any case, I will finish and I will speak about another another band that. Um, I, I listen to, to, to these last days one great American band of US power metal Silver Talon and their debut album De Decadence and Decay great album of US power metal with very very good influences of Sanctuary of Nevermore and even Crimson Glory great album let's go find them uh, if you like you, US power metal before that, before this album, they made another EP, and if I'm not sure, Loomis he played the guitar there. In any case, great, great uh, new band of U.S. power metal, of good new U.S. power metal. So this is about municipal waste from Jerusalem, from Israel. Stay metal and stay heavy.